Hello, in this video I will show you what's new in the Garment Tool 1.2. So the biggest changes are simplified and streamlined UI. Then there is a new pattern knife tool and now you can also generate uh, trees or quad mesh. So let's start with simpler uh, UI. Uh, you can collapse everything to one line or if you click you can expand more to show the most used features and if you click one more time there is uh, the options for patterns or vertex groups. So the top part is usually used at the beginning because at the beginning, at the beginning you usually want to add savings pins or pockets. Then you can uh, usually generate, you will usually want to generate mesh with trees or quad and change the resolution. And finally, you can use uh, simulation options on the bottom with the new finalized mesh to bake the simulation into the separate static mesh. Uh, so, okay, I will show you what's new in the edit savings. So, in the past you would have to scroll to select the active sewing, but now it is automatically picking the sewing under the cursor. If you press uh, delete, it will delete the sewing. If you press uh, tab key, you can edit, like with middle mouse scroll, to change the direction or with left mouse redefine where the sewing is. Uh, so yeah, it's now way faster to change and modify your sewings uh, this way. Uh, now also you can preview sewings when modeling uh, the sewing patterns. So uh, the white sewings indicate that the segments connected by sewing are equal length. If I change one segment length, you see that the sewing is uh, red, but as soon as the length of the segments will match, it is getting whiter. And when the difference in length is very small, it is getting brighter, like you can see in here. Uh, you can disable the preview anytime you want using this chain icon. Uh, I will show you now the a new option for pins. So now you can create pins not only between sewing patterns, like so, but you can also create pins to the meshes. So this may be useful if you want some cloth hanging from some place. So you can edit sewing, edit pin from a sewing pattern to the mesh, like so. And the first point of the pins have to be on the sewing pattern then on the second can be on the mesh or on the other pattern. So now if I generate mesh, you will see that we have those uh, two pins generated and they will be pulling the, the cloth to the place where the sphere is. Uh, in here in the brackets you can see we have 15 savings, 0 pockets and 2 pins. If you want to dis disable the pins, you can use this checkbox in here. And now if I generate mesh, you will see that the pins are no longer here. But uh, they are, uh, they will be enabled if you change this checkbox. Uh, now I will show you the new quad generation mesh method. So we have trees, change to quad, generate mesh, and we have results like this. Uh, now when I simulate, I can finally easily save the result of simulation to the and back this to the static mesh. So I just pause the simulation and uh, after selecting the mesh, I can just press finalize cloth. And now the modifiers are applied. We have uh, UVs and vertex groups for each saving pattern generated. And the borders between Saving patterns are collapsed, so it is now good mesh for sculpting. And the final, uh, the final thing I want to show you is the pattern knife tool. So you just cut the patterns like so, and with left mouse button and enter to confirm. And we have something like in here. I can cut holes like so. Uh, or I can even split segments. So let's say I want to split this segment. I just def click on the segment, enter to finish, and yes. So it won't work on more complicated meshes. So if you want to perform like long cut like that, 
I don't think it will work here. Yeah. So usually you want to just connect uh, two two adjacent uh, and close points like so. That then it will work. Then you can cut this like so. Enter and perform then final cut like so. So this way it will work. It won't work if you want to create one slice. Maybe I will improve this in future. Hope you like the new uh, features and uh, see ya.